Hey guys, and welcome back to another Sonic Academy Tech Tip. In this one, we're going to have a look at sidechain compression and just a, a wee fancier way of doing it in terms of compressing the lows and compressing the highs uh, of a sound. And I'm going to use the bass line in this uh, just quick demo track as an example. And you can hear that we've got a wee bit of a bite at the top and we have a, a nice low rumble at the bottom. And the standard way of sort of dealing with this would be just to drop a compressor onto that and just choose the kick drum, uh, which is this one, and just compress that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do in this example though is just do this slightly differently. So I'm gonna turn that compressor off and I'm going to uh, grab a audio effect rack from the audio effects. And I'm gonna turn on um, this wee button here. What's it called? Uh, the chain list, okay. And in here, I'm just going to uh, create a chain, create another chain. And I'm gonna rename this top one to uh, highs. And I'm gonna rename the bottom one to lows. And we're going to grab, a, let's see, an EQ8. And on the first one, what I'm going to do is filter at the bottom. And on the bottom one, I'm going to filter at the tops. So I need another EQ8 on this one. And then we're going to, uh, for the highs, turn on the low pass, or sorry, the high pass, and filter this up. So we only want the highs. So we we'll probably go to about 300 hertz, maybe. And then for the bottom one, we want the low. So I'm going to turn on the low pass and filter that down. We want to cross them over at about the same point. And um, you'll notice that you'll probably, uh, if you select 300 where this one is, um, you'll get a wee bit of a, a, a lull in between both of those points because the it doesn't cut off right at that point. So you can hear there, it has removed some frequencies. So we need to sort of overlap them slightly. Um, so I will increase the lows. Try double. So that's pretty close there. So 300 on the highs and 300 on the lows, or 600 on the lows. It's cuts in a wee bit of the mids, but that's fine. Still got this one. So this one's going to remain on side chains. It's going to not be compressed at all. So you're always going to hear that. And then we're just going to click on a compressor and drop it onto the low chain. And we're just going to do the same normal side chain. So I'm going to select our kick drum. And I'm going to side chain that with our kick drum. Just as we normally would. And then we can hear that. You can hear it with and without there. We could actually probably sort of bringing the levels those up. We can sort of play about with the levels of the two now. Could have the, the lows a wee bit higher because we are side chaining it. So you can hear that with the rest of the track. That's it with it off. And again, you have control over the, the volumes there. So you can hear the difference between the two. Here's the normal compressor. You lose that sort of bite from the, the bass line. And then if I put the other one on. It maintains that sort of higher end bite. Thank you. 
And this isn't limited to just putting on bass lines. You can put on other things as well. Um, so if I was to just take this whole rack and hold down the Alt key and duplicate it onto, for example, these drums. And if we have a listen to these drums in isolation first. So you can hear there's quite a, a, a lot of low end in there. So what we could do is side chain that. We can obviously go in and tweak the levels, select how much we want to compress it. And the tops will remain relatively, well they will remain unside chained. Here, that sounds a lot smoother. I turn this off. We can obviously bump the levels a wee bit because that's being side chain now. Okay, so that's just a quick tip on how you can use a wee bit more. Uh, advanced side chain to uh, remove the lows from your track but maintain those mids and highs. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you found this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.